Hello and welcome to this Hangout. So we all know how important SEO work, search engine optimization is in getting our business high up in the rankings. Well, what you may not know is just how important Google Plus and the new Hangout platform is. Also, combined with YouTube, you can get yourself much higher up in the rankings. Today, I'm interviewing Debbie Telbert of HangoutWithDebbie.com, and Debbie is spelled D-E-B-I.com. And she, Debbie's going to share the importance of, um, you know, really tuning in and turning into Google Plus uh, as part of your marketing funnel. So it's one of the greatest strategies that you can use to really get your business known. So she's going to tell us why Google uh, Plus is important for gaining exposure and also to build your personal brand. So women like myself and Debbie and many, many solopreneurs, we are the face of our business. And video allows us to be very authentic. Um, people really get to see what our personality is like which you can tell from even a very short video. Well, the Hangouts are just an amazing way to get your message out there, and they're a great tool. So anybody that's in several types of industries, which Debbie is going to talk about, this is a perfect platform to you to become familiar with. And we're very lucky because Debbie's actually teaching women like you and me how to use this platform. So I'm super excited about it. And so... Um, my name is Dana Smithers. My company is Empowered Women in Business, and I love working with women like Debbie, uh, providing coaching services, uh, doing masterminds, getting women, like-minded women together who use the Law of Attraction, and that's actually how I first met Debbie. So I'm going to ask um, Debbie how she actually got started in this business. I know a little bit about her background, and it might be something that you can relate to as well. So let me uh, just introduce Debbie and welcome her. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dana. I am uh, so excited to be here today and have this opportunity and to share this information with people. And a little bit about my background is I'm actually a still I'm still working my full time job as a flight attendant, and I've been in the airline industry for 30 years. And what happened to me recent, I guess it was been in the last eight years when the economy started changing a lot, our company filed bankruptcy. And then along with that came for the employees a lot of pay cuts, a lot of benefit changes, and changes to what you thought your pension was going to be like. So all that process that was going on led me to, first it kind of put me in like this mode of like what the heck am I going to do because I actually did two years of college and then went into this working in, at Delta in the airline industry so I was like it scared me the thought of what the heck am I going to do I don't really have a lot of skills out there now that I could put out there and apply for jobs so throughout that process I began teaching myself how to use the various platforms in the computers so for the past seven years, I've taught myself how to do a blog. I've taught myself how to use Facebook and the various other social media platforms. And then I was into the network marketing realm. And through that, I was teaching the people I was on the team with and the teammates how to, uh, how to teach. Like we were teaching people how to use Facebook within the network marketing realm, and we were using Google Hangouts to teach them how to do it. Now, at that point, it didn't even dawn on me to look further into the platform as to all the key parts of it and how I could leverage that. Yet, I was teaching on the platform, and then I would teach them how to do their own Hangouts and show them how to do Hangouts. And so it sort of led me to learning more about that, and then they kept telling me, you know, you're very good at this. Well, how come you don't teach stuff and get paid to do it? So I started doing came across Michael Lozier, a mentor, and his Law of Attraction book, and I started following his process and working towards in the Law of Attraction for Business class, which is where, um, where we actually met, and um, I started doing his processes and applied his three-step formula and the Law of Attraction towards attracting my ideal opportunity. And so through that, I have come up with uh, attracted exactly the opportunity for me. So and I've uh, come across tools that I needed to figure out what my actual gifts and skills were under the program that I took with you, the sacred gift program and training that you offer. Mm -hmm. And then I came across training that Michael Lozier has on how to do your hangout. And so 
as I'm doing my hangouts because the intent of my hangout show is to inspire women that are affected similarly like I am or they're just burnt out in their career and they just can't fathom the idea of applying for another job right. <laughs> and they want to create their own financial life raft so to speak so I'm inspiring them with ideas tips and motivation to do this so my show I interview women that have done exactly that so as I was going through the process and finding women to interview and explaining that I was going to do this in this platform each of the women they all wanted to know how to use this platform Right. So I'm just, I'm just going to interject there, Debbie, because hello, I'm one of those women, right? Uh, like I remember when I first saw and, and Michael was using it and we all did that three-step deliberate attraction process and put out there what we wanted. And I too wanted to meet somebody like you and you and I had a immediate connect. And myself, being an entrepreneur who, didn't, who uh, got out of corporate when I was 50, so I've been doing the solopreneur thing for a while. So what you're talking about with the Hangouts, you know, it's such a great platform for small business owners, coaches, authors, like you said, solopreneurs, and you know, putting these strategies together. How's that? How is that really going to work for us? What are going to be some of the benefits to doing that, Debbie? Okay. Well, so what I did was that the course I put together and the benefits that you're going to get from it is. You know, very similar to like when you get this phone here that you have, you know, this iPhone, <laughs> and it has all of these tools in it, yet when you actually get around into your everyday life, you actually only use about five or six things in this phone, right? You call people on it. Our age group, we still call people on it. The younger <laughs> generation, they just text. <laughs> but anyway, and you check your email on it. You take pictures with it. Some of, And some people use it for video, and then, then they put their, e their you know, so... And then, uh, you know, so maybe five things max do you use on a regular basis. So what I've done, what you can do in this platform, especially as a small business owner, because you're the one that makes all the decisions, and you have a far easier experience and a transition than, you know, a bigger corporation, is you can take the five key components of it, which is basically your Google Plus profile, and then the Google Plus a business page, communities, and leveraging the the circle option that they have, which is similar to friends on uh, Facebook concept, and then you can take the Hangouts, which is also tied into YouTube. So if you take those five key components and learn how to leverage the circles and create your community and have Hangout shows, then that whole combination can be a highly strategic marketing funnel for you, because you can create your circles and ha and run them like a database. And then you can create the community and have it engaging on, on a private side. You can make private communities and you can also make public communities. And so when you take all of that and combine it together, you can use this as a powerful marketing funnel. Yeah, that's, uh, that's just great, Debbie. So you, you hit upon a really key word there when we're hearing it all over the place, engagement, right? So it's not just about in social media making a post and I would think on the hangouts it's not about just making a, a post and you know I really love your comment about the um, the iPhone here. Um, <laughs> I don't ha I don't have the fingers for the texting. I, I watch the um, younger generation do it. it. I mean I do text but you know so you know it's kind of like Google Plus platform is the same thing. We're not really using it all to our advantage. So you talked about circles, communities. Um, you know, it's a social media site. So can you talk a little bit more about how you actually get engaged? Then do you just do a post, a video? What would be some of your tips on that? Well, what I actually teach in the course I have put together is it's. I actually call them the five C's, which it's actually I got this idea and the concept from Loretta Young. A book I read on hers and this is what she uses is the five C's around your content that you're going to put out in the social and you can use this for all areas of the social media platform because but so you're going to actually first the first C is actually consuming so you're going to want to consume information and look for people to place in circles of your own because the concept of circles is, is you can have them for people that you want to follow as well so you want to learn from and follow as well as from people that you feel are your ideal customers and that you want to attract them to you. 
So the first part is to consume the information that's going on out there from the people you want to engage with. And then the next part is to connect with them. And the best way to connect with somebody is to be honest about your opinion of what it is that they put out there. So when someone is putting stuff out and it resonates with you, instead of just doing a plus one on it, which is basically like a like on Facebook, actually leave them a comment. Because a lot of people don't leave comments. So of course they're going to want to check out who is this person that actually read, you know, read my in stuff and they liked what I had to say. We all want people to, you know, let us know when they like what we have to say, right? So <laughs> anyway, so then the next part is so you do that part and connect with people and and then you start putting them into strategic circles. And then the next part is for you to create content. And by creating content that will be of a value and educate and inspire and someone can learn from your content. And then from there you're also contributing to the conversations that's going on and from there you can actually collaborate with other people very similar to how we've begun to collaborate with each other. So you can actually meet people that are like-minded around your same topic and you can begin to collaborate with each other and do hangouts like this or video voice call. It doesn't even have to be the hangout. And you can interact and engage and see how you might be able to work together on stuff. So basically the, the five C's are consume, connect, create, contribute, and collaborate. Yeah, I'm just writing those down. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's kind of funny because um, uh, Debbie and I are I'm actually going to – I've hired Debbie. Uh, I know she's got her programs going, but uh, – since Debbie and I did meet uh, during the Law of Attraction program in business, it's kind of cool the way we've connected. And I think that's another thing about the Hangouts as well, Debbie, that that's, we've, we, you and I have just chatted away, had some personal calls. Um, in fact, Debbie lives in Florida and I live in Vancouver and being a flight attendant, she came up to Vancouver so we got to meet. But we really started out meeting on the Hangouts. So it's, it's a lot like um, Facebook or any social media site, right? You're meeting very virtually, and a lot of people, you know, if you have the opportunity to meet somebody, you already know them on Hangout, right? Because when I met you, it's like we're old friends, and, you know, we've been, <laughs> been doing this. Or like you say, for someone uh, doing any kind of training, or, and I definitely use Hangouts when I'm coaching as well, so that's just great. So tell us a little bit more about... Um, how often you run your programs and how long they are? Well, the training that I have put together right now, it's a four, it's actually four trainings and they're an hour each, but then I also offer two open office hours because I want people to actually use what they've learned the first week and I do them, I spread them out a week apart. Now with my schedule, they're not necessarily always on the same day of the week, but they are at least a week apart. And then I have the two open offices, one in the middle, and then the other one I actually have it 30 days after because you want to go out there for 30 days and implement what it is you learned and so then come back to the office, open office session with your real active questions so you can figure out a way if something didn't work right constantly right. for you or if you want to do something better. And so that's what I do in the open office section. It's kind of like individual what's going on with you uh, coaching session, but yet it's recorded so the others in the group can learn from it. That's great. So, and I start off for people that are very, because the platform is very, very new. So most of the people I'm working with, it's totally brand new to them. So, and I teach it exactly in the platform that I'm teaching you how to do it. So I create a community and I make it private and you do all the engagement in the community because throughout the course I'm going to teach you how to use communities and do the same thing yourself and what you're doing. So Debbie, let's just go back to uh, that time when you know, you've been on Google for quite a while, but I wasn't. And when someone said to me, well, just go on Google Chrome and, uh, you know, find the community and, and you're all good. And I'm like, and thinking, I don't know, even know what Google Chrome is. And I'm thinking, do I, do I want to get it in my computer? Like, will it wreck anything else, right? Because I think those, you know, when you don't know about technology, you, we've got so much fear around things. So maybe even just go back further than that. Should people get the Google Chrome platform? Maybe just start there and, and how that works. Well, actually, um, initially, when the um, Google was 
started the the Hangouts and stuff, it worked best in the Google Chrome platform, which is really basically a browser, very similar to right. Firefox or Safari if you're on the Mac or Explorer. So, if, since it's a Google product, the platform is generally going to work better inside the Chrome browser. However, it's now no longer a requirement. It works like right this minute, the one where the show we're doing here. I am actually on Firefox. Oh, okay. So okay. Switching your browser now is not really a necessary part of using the Google Plus arena. Okay. And so I think some that people Google, will like that, <laughs> right? Because I think Google realized that. I mean, you know, yes, they want you to be on their platforms and all their products. Yet it, some people, just like you said, they don't want to switch or they're they're afraid to do something to their computer. So that that has been a change. So you can use any browser you want. Right. And then what about for uh, people uh, watching on the Hangouts? Do they, you know, what if they have an iPad or iPhone or Mac product? How about that? Well, when you, you can use and watch a Hangout on any tablet. And you can actually even be in a Hangout, like on the panel, kind of like we are. Right. In the uh, on one of your either your smartphone or a tablet. However, you see how we each have the lower third part where Dana has her name and right. then I have my name. You can't add that part to yourself, but you can participate and you can watch. You can definitely watch any of them right. on any of those um, the smartphones or the tablet type scenarios. Okay. You don't need any. There is a plugin. There is an app that Google has, and you can do it. However, you can also watch it right from. Uh, the uh, YouTube. You can watch it on YouTube even because right. this is actually tied in with YouTube. Okay. So for people that uh, wanted to connect with you, Debbie, are you doing any one-on-one -on -one coaching or are you going to keep the keep more programs coming our way? Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm doing one-on-one -on -one coaching and I'm also doing another program and it's scheduled to come out in the middle of October. Okay, because for September, I'm taking a course of my own that I want to really be able to study and process. So I've chosen not to do any of the courses myself, teaching myself for September. However, it should be the second week of October the new, the, other, the program comes out. Great. And you can find out about it on um, DebbieTauber.com, then forward slash services is where I'm going to put the information on the next course. And I'll also have a form on there if you put in your email. I can capture your email and then I can um, send you the information when the course is ready. And okay, also so people, oops, sorry, they can actually reach me on Google Plus too and then just let me know that they want to be in one of my future training circles because okay. I've created a circle for that so I can interact with people that want to know about future training. Okay, for, so for someone that doesn't know what, how to get uh, on Google with you and get on that circle, how would they do that, Debbie? Well, you need to actually, um, to get in the circle, you have to get a Google Plus profile account. So okay. if you have a Gmail account, right now they're automatically setting you up with a Plus account. And so Great. once you have a Plus account, then you can look for me, Debbie Talbert. I just have it with my name, D-E-B-I Talbert. On, uh, you just do a search at the top. There's a way to do a search. Great. And then you'll be able to find me. And then you can uh, send me a message. You just do Plus and my name. And the message will come privately to me and just tell me to add you to your the training circle. Great. Your so training that, circle. Yeah, so that's good. It, it almost sounds like a lot of similarities in all the social media sites, right? You can message in Facebook. Um, you can send messages in LinkedIn as well. You just type in a person's name and you can get connected. So it's just using your name, like you said, D-E-B-I, Talbert, T-A-L-B-E-R-T. Right. Dot com. That's exactly. your website. And so, right, that is the website and how people can find me. But the key here is to like actually think about what we talked about and how you might be able to apply this in your business to what you already have going for your marketing. Right. And for those people that teach stuff and do webinars, you can you don't have to stop doing the ones you're already doing, but you could add this platform right. to your actual product funnel and help, and it could generate you another income stream. Right. Yes, and I uh, I definitely like that. I've got a lot of uh, webinars out there, and I did one on the law of attraction um, several months ago. But I'm going to be doing one as well in September 
uh, using this platform because I like to have people in the panel and then as you said people can also watch so to teach someone the law of attraction uh, doing it this way is is wonderful because there's so much connection people can ask their questions or whatever um, but what I also love you know as we said it's really I was speaking with someone who's part of Mary Kay right. and I saw the light bulb go off because she's thinking <laughs> She's got representatives, you know, really all over the country because some of her women from, say, 15 years ago have moved. Right. So it doesn't matter where you live, you can connect with people. And I know that even some of the women that I'm coaching are in, um, in Norway, in California. So that's the beautiful thing about a platform like this as well for us coaches and trainers. It's, it's just beautiful. And so how many people can we get on the panel, Debbie, if people people would be almost first come, first serve, is that what you do on your program? Well, no, it actually or depends. Do you have guest speakers? On, on it depends. Like on my show, I have the guest speakers, and I'm doing interviewing right now. Right. That's where it is at this point, the show. But then, if you're going to do a teaching course, whether you're going to do it paid or you're going to do it for a team of people that you have, you can have yourself and nine other people be actively on the panel, mm -hmm. like we are, which is the panel part. Right. But you can also, it depends on what you want to do, if you want to sell it to a larger market, you can create a community that's private and have all the engagement going in the community and, you know, like action plans for people to take between the next class. And then the people that actually take the action within the community and are engaging and communicating in your community, then you could reward them and say, okay, these people, and send them the link to be on the panel. And they could be on the panel, yet others can still watch and learn. And also have access to all the same data, right? So Excellent. there's a couple of different ways that you can right. do that, yeah, and leverage the platform, right? And Debbie, I understand too that you can have a Q and A session on that. Can you talk about that for a minute? Sure. You can actually. There's an app that comes with it that is a Q and A, and as long as you activate it before the hangout goes live, then people that are watching can actually ask questions, and you'll see right. the questions come up as a person running the hangout on your side. We won't. The other people watching won't see it. Right. And then you can answer the question. Click on the question you want to answer. Answer it, and then someone coming back and watching the recording later, then they can actually, if they see the question, which then they'll see the question as they're watching it. They can just click if they want to know the answer to just that question. Oh, great! Just click on it, and it takes them right to where you answered it. That's fabulous. So it's, it's a matter of learning how to control the panel and white box people and not white box people and turn the right. Q&A off and stuff like that, which is part of the process in the right. module on the Hangouts right. that I actually teach people. Good. Okay, Debbie, tell us what a white box is. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's in, and I think right now you probably have yourself white box because we're not jumping back and forth talking. So at the bottom of the screen, if you look and you put your mouse over your name, do you have a white box around your name? I do now, yeah. Okay. So then if you, so whoever you want to stay on the screen as the controller of the screen, then you white box them and that will stay in front of you. So even as a panel member, the, the person that started the Hangout is controlling what's being recorded. Right. That's the person great. on the Hangout and it's on the panel on the bottom you can control what you see. So sometimes when so, like when I'm teaching something and I have sharing my screen up here and I'm doing talking and going through and then people are engaging and asking questions about what I'm teaching, you want to white box the person that's teaching so your screen doesn't jump back and forth when somebody's asking a question because that's how it's defaulted. Right. So then that helps the, even the watcher and the panel member get control of what it is that they want to see. Right. And then I understand too that the uh, recordings, we can, we've got the option of muting if you have a cough or you have to, uh, you know, there's noise outside and also if you have to get away, step away for a minute, you can put yourself, I'll do that right now, like I could do that, just put my picture or I could just, so all on mute oh, me. Yeah, you muted yeah. yourself so we didn't hear you telling yeah. us how you <laughs> muted yourself. <laughs> yeah, so that, that's a mute that you can do if you had a coughing fit or whatever, right? Okay. Right. Yeah. Anything else yeah. that you want to let us know, Debbie, about um, the five C's uh, programs that you've got coming up? That was really good, by the way. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. No, I just think that you really want to consider this tool and adding it and leveraging all the possibilities that it has, because Google likes it when you play in their sandbox. 
And basically using all these programs together, you're playing in their sandbox. So the more engagement you have on posts that you make, yeah. as well as in communities, specifically the ones that you've made as public, which you would want to do that to engage people you want to attract to you that would you want, would want to have as a potential client, right? then those communities and the titles that you give them, when people put in those words as a search on Google, they are coming up on top spots in the search engines because of the high engagement right. of the community. So right. really, the whole platform's key is around engagement. Yeah, absolutely. That's just great. Yep. So from here, you and I can both take this video because there's links in it. Right. That we can use on YouTube or link up in the community. So I'm going to post this in a few places myself, um, just to promote the course that you you've got, as well as just to let people know how great a platform this is. And you know, you mentioned multi-level marketing. I mean, this is fabulous for that as well, because when people want to get their team to, together, or maybe you're just having a bit of a a low vibration day, and you just need right. to connect with somebody. We know what that's all about, right? Reset that vibe. But yeah. uh, it's it's just got so many um, opportunities for it. So I thank you so much for uh, allowing me to do this interview today. And as I said, I'm going to use this on a number of platforms I've got. And I've got uh, several communities that I'm involved with. And I know as soon as you and I get off this platform, I'm going to have a very private one-on-one -on -one, <laughs> uh, coaching session on right. uh, some things that I want to learn how to do. So I'm looking forward to that. All right. And thank you so much, Dana, for having me today. I really enjoyed it because really I believe strongly that this is where people need to be. So I love being able to get the message out there and, and helping people kind of get a better picture of what it actually is and that it's not just YouTube. Right. So and thank I thank you very much. Well, thank you, Debbie. And as I said, you know, it's, it's bringing a lot of like-minded uh, people together because you've got a message. You know, you talked about the sacred gifts. I believe that every woman has, every human being has, animals included as well, trees, etc. All of us have a purpose, <laughs> right? All of us, yeah, universe, we're all, here. Yeah. we're all here. It doesn't matter what uh, what you're made up of. But um, I think you know, allowing women to see and connect with other women and engage, and you know. For me, getting the message across about how to use the law of attraction, you know, deliberately getting what you want. Like you said, what you attract, it'll attract. Once you get clear, you'll be able to attract what you need to do, know, or have, the people you need in your life. And look at how we've done it. I mean, it's fabulous. And it's fabulous that, um, you know, you thought of this idea of, of doing the Hangouts and that you're following this list because you know, this is what you're happy is sharing with women, and I'm I'm just eternally grateful uh, for you for doing this. So thank you so much. Thank you, and I'm looking forward to our coaching in a few minutes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bye, Bye everybody. For Thanks yeah. for watching. Yeah. Bye bye.